Moments ago, as the Rams came out of the tunnel, Tavon Austin and Kenny Britt acknowledged the events in Ferguson. And then they were joined by the rest of the receiving core. As they ran out onto the field, there is extra security here today. About All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what took place uh, in uh, St. Louis yesterday. The Rams coming onto the field, some of them with their hands up putting forth or you know, perpetuating the, the misconception, the myth that Michael Brown said, hey, you know, my hands are up, don't shoot. Joining us now is a uh, representative from the uh, state of Missouri, Representative Jeff, uh, Jeff Rorter, uh, who's also a uh, business manager of the St. Louis County Police Officers Association. Hello, Jeff. How are you? It's uh, actually St. Louis City Police Officers Association. Okay, gotcha. City Police Officers St. Louis City. Okay. You have been very outspoken on behalf of your organization uh, in your reaction to what those players did on the field. Um, since you uh, started speaking out uh, yesterday and today, the NFL has issued a statement saying there'll be no action taken against these players uh, who came out with their hands up. Uh, what do you say, first of all, to the reaction by the NFL? Well, it's a brush off and it, it's offensive to the members that I represent and and the much broader community that, that supports police officers. You know, while we've heard from this very loud, uh, sometimes violent uh, minority of people who uh, want to perpetuate this myth uh, of, of Darren Wilson gunning down Michael Brown in, in cold blood as he was attempting to peacefully surrender, it's just now what happened. And this gesture has been become synonymous with, with that allegation, and it's... it's uh, it's an unfo unfounded allegation, and, and uh, we're tired of hearing it. What did you think when you when you saw this happen? I mean, to me, you know, the NFL, they're worried about what kind of celebrations go on in the end zone. You get penalized if you taunt, blah, 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 blah. And, and then they this happens, and I, I, I kind of expected some kind of at least mixed message from the NFL as opposed to saying, no, you know, they have a right to express their views. Well, uh, as you say, I mean, this is a sports league that, that penalizes teams and fines players uh, for spiking the ball or for doing silly end zone dances. Uh, yet this uh, very public political display on the field is, is somehow okay. Um, um, I just don't buy that, and, and, and cops around the country don't buy it either. Um, it's, uh, it's perpetuating a myth that, uh, that we find to, to, to only inflame things Absolutely. and not help now, us now, move now, forward from this situation. Now, Jeff, you were on CNN, and ever since you were on CNN, they've had Rachel Nichols, who is their sports gal, uh, for lack of a better term, who did a show which I believe is off the air at this point, um, and, and she's also affiliated with ESPN, I believe, still. And she has been saying every single hour, as far as I could tell, they have her on, they talk about the NFL reaction, then they bring her on, and the first thing out of her mouth is trashing you, specifically. She said, well, you know, it's interesting that the person they send out there to speak, you want to hear about his background? Here's his background. And she tells you that you have a, a track record, you have, that you were fired um, uh, from uh, the, uh, let's see, uh, fired from the, uh, for filing a false report. What? Uh, um, against the suspect and against the police commissioner at the time. Uh, you sponsored a bill um, that favored police officers as if that's something negative. But she's trashing you every time she's on with the same junk. I mean, respond to that. Right. Well, I mean, the personal attacks are to be expected. Uh, you know, if there was merit to their position, uh, then they would be ad advancing that position. But uh, this notion that the police have have done something wrong here uh, was rejected by a, a jury of, of Darren Wilson. No, and Jeff, and I understand, and I'm on your side, and, I, and I'm on your side on both these issues, but I, why is it to be expected? You're representing a, a, a police organization, and you're objecting to something that happened. Why would they, why does it matter what, what, what happened to you or what controversy you're involved in? You're making a point on behalf of an organization. I mean, why should your 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 per, a personal attack be expected? Uh, well, I guess because uh, the the common thread here is rewriting history. You know, we and they're rewriting history on on my background, by the way, as well. But uh, you know, as as information comes out about 
the Michael Brown shooting, uh, there's always this rewrite that we go through. And, you know, now now Michael was, was uh, spreading the gospel of Jesus the, the morning before he got shot, now that we... Uh, now that we know that he, in fact, was a would-be cop killer, um, and, and it's just it's startling to, to see this. So CNN is rewriting the hi- CNN is rewriting the history of the event and of of your life, your 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 uh, your your uh, your history. Yeah, well, yeah, and not just CNN. I mean, there's plenty of folks guilty. Yeah. Of the- All right, uh, Jeff, got to go. Thank you very much, sir. We appreciate your time. When we come back, you won't want to miss it, Dinesh D'Souza.